Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Groner, and today we're going to be making story maps. Story maps are a super fun way to show what we know about story elements, especially the story elements of setting, characters, and plot. Remember, the setting is where the story happens, the characters are the people or animals in the story, and the plot is what happens in the story. All you need to complete this activity is a piece of paper and some colors. Now, if you don't have colors, it's okay to just use a pen or pencil. It's a little bit more fun if you have colors. Okay, we're going to be creating a story map of the song over near the pond. In our story map, we really want to show the setting, the characters, and what those creatures or animals are doing. Let's take a look. When we make our story map, it's always smart to refer back to the story or to the text details, because when we pull the information directly from the text, we get a really good story map that shows exactly what's happening. Okay, so here's page one. Over near the pond, in the grass, in the sun, Okay, so the frogs are in the grass and the sun lived a green mother frog and her little froggy one. Jump, said the mother. I jump, said the one. Okay, so I want to include in my story map the mother frog and the baby frog, the grass and the sun. And that they're jumping too. That will be really important. Okay, how about this? Over near the pond where the water is blue lived a silver mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the water. We swim, said the two. Okay, so I need to make sure I also include the mother fish, the two baby fish, swimming in the blue pond, right? Excellent, okay. Then if I look at the next page, there it is, the red mother robin. And her robins three, and where did they live? Over near the pond, in a hole in a tree. So in a hole in a tree, that's part of the setting. The mother robin lives with her robins three. And what are they doing there? Singing. So let's take a look at how I would put these first three pages on a story map. Okay, so here we go. I have, the green mother frog and her little froggy one. And he's jumping because that's what they're doing in the story, right? And they're in the grass in the sun. And then the mother fish is with her two little fishies. And what are they doing? They're swimming in the water. Then here's the mother robin in the hole in the tree with her three babies and they're singing. On the next page of the story, we see the mama duck and her ducklings swimming in the water. So I've added that as well. Now, I'm not finished with my story map. I still have six more pages to add in to show the different parts of the setting and the characters and what they're doing. I want you to continue as well. Finish looking at the story over near the pond and finish the story map. Once you're done, record your voice telling what's happening with the characters and the setting and the plot. It's a great way to retell a story through a beautiful story map. I can't wait to see yours. I hope you have fun with this activity. See you soon.